Welcome back everyone. Believe it or not, we could potentially be seeing new MacBooks coming out way sooner than later. So WWDC, the schedule of it is actually fully released and I actually got an email for it which is very weird. I typically don't get emails for it. But we already know what days, you know, WWDC is going to come out and all that stuff. But John Prosser out of all people and a couple of other people as well, including some people who analyze the image of the schedule, have actually said that there could be a new MacBook coming out. Or, better yet, a couple MacBooks, which is pretty crazy. Now, Prosser said he can confirm that a new MacBook Pro is coming, but the, it makes so much sense to me because, you know, Apple just released the iMacs. Apple is going to, at some point, release new MacBooks with the M1 chip. It's not a surprise, and I doubt they're going to do it later than sooner, mostly because the M1 chip is already on so many devices, but on top of that, at some point, they're going to have to make the M1X and the M2 chips and all those things. So if they release the M1 at MacBook, like the 16-inch or 14-inch one, that's going to be too late. Like, people have already, you know, transitioned over to the M1 chip. Like, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a late thing. They kind of have to keep updating them sooner than later. Now, 9to5Mac and a couple other people have also stated that the 14-inch or and or 16-inch MacBooks could be coming, which is pretty crazy. Now, the crazy thing is, and this is the thing that if this MacBook ends up having it, or if these MacBooks end up having it, because I've been using the M1 MacBook Pro since, you know, I think for about four months now, and I've loved it. It's a great little MacBook, and it definitely is a worthwhile update from the iMac I was using. But this is the thing. If these next MacBooks end up actually having SD cards inside of them, that is big enough for me to go ahead and jump straight to. I'm willing to go ahead and buy that MacBook, the 14 inch and or the 16 inch one, just because of that SD card slot. I use dongles, I hate it, it is the most annoying thing ever, and just having that ability of just picking up my MacBook, putting in that SD card and moving on, is one of the most liberating feelings that I miss so much from my old 15 inch MacBook that I'm actually using to record this audio. So that in and of itself is the number one thing that could be the biggest improvement to the next iteration of these MacBooks. Now, what does this mean for the 13 inch model? I'm pretty sure Apple is going to simultaneously keep selling the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro for as long as they can. It's still going to maintain the two ports and all that stuff. The 14 inch MacBook is going to be sold after that's going to probably have four USB Type-C ports, possibly that SD card, I'm not 100% too sure. That's going to be probably way more expensive than the, you know, standard M1 MacBook Pro that we have, the 13-inch model, or it could be the same price as like a, you know, higher-end M1 MacBook Pro for the base 14-inch, I'm not too sure. But that 16-inch MacBook Pro could be the one, you know, it could be one of the first MacBooks with six USB Type-C ports. I'm not 100% too sure, again, I just kind of made that up, but I, you know, at some point they're probably going to do it. But the thing with the 16-inch MacBook Pro is that it may end up having that M1X chip inside of it. So if that ends up happening, so right now we have, you know, an 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU with the M1 chip. If it ends up having that M1X chip, Bloomberg actually mentioned that it could be 10 cores. So 10 CPU and then 10 GPU cores, making it 20 cores pretty much overall, versus that 16 cores on the standard M1 MacBooks. So I guess we'll see what happens there. I'm actually really excited for it. So we are pretty much guaranteed that we're going to be getting a MacBook, but it just depends which MacBooks are we getting. And hopefully we end up getting both. Even if we just get the 16-inch or 14-inch one, if it has the SD card, I'm switching over it. I'm going to be 100% honest. And I'm going to use my other M1 MacBook Pro as like a travel one, but I cannot wait for this MacBook without a doubt. So that essentially covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.